awaits another legislative sitting of the ad hoc committee of the Nigerian House of Representatives investigating the activities of real estate developers within the Federal Capital Territory. With the committee members seated, the real estate developers did not show up to answer to petitions against them. This did not go down well with members of the committee who said they would not hesitate to invoke their legislative powers as enshrined in the 1999 constitution as amended. Section 8, 8 and 89 of the constitution empowers the government to expose corruption, inefficiency, and to talk to anybody. Look at any document that will never do that. The chairman, well, they have been asked by the House to come and let us understand what they are doing with the people, with the government funds from who assess the market, with the land they are where, is it for the same use? And they can live with the, the, the investigation soon became necessary because of the various complaints against developers. So we just have to do the needful. It's also um, insulting from them not to honor institution from the literature to come and tell people what they're doing. It's very wrong for them to brief as bouncy companies, using their companies as uh, a way of uh, dealing with people in a manner not prescribed by law. Chairman of the committee, Blessing Ono said, Efforts of the committee to interact with the real estate developers has proved abortive as most of them remain invasive. Um, and we have um, noticed with great displeasure the attitude of the developers who are evasive with no fixed addresses, thereby putting consumers with various complaints at jeopardy. Some of these developers have assessed mortgages without clear evidence of utilization. These developers have breached and flagrantly abused extant laws, including contractual agreements with their buyers. Efforts by this committee to interface with the developers have proved abortive as most of the developers are evasive. She further read out the decision of the committee. The committee has decided the following. To direct SCDA ages to review and authenticate land allocation, particularly those with complaints of infractions without known addresses to direct Federal Mortgage Bank to submit financial transactions with such developers, if any. We hereby sound a note of caution that names of such developers will be sent to relevant law enforcement agencies for further investigation, as we, cannot, we can no longer tolerate corporate bodies to be used as engine of fraud. It is important to emphasize that failure of these developers to attend the House investigative hearing and submit the necessary documents as required could result to sealing their sites. One of the petitioners, Jafar Bellu, laid his grievances before members of the press. We have a case with a developer, Supernatural Estate, um, uh, to me, it's a case of breach of criminal breach of trust and possibly an advance fee fraud because we paid, we paid, we paid for a property. They are claiming they do not know us uh, after, after we've paid money into the company's account. They have a physical office. The estate is real. It's not, uh, it's not a Ponzi. But uh, I think these guys are just being dubious. Probably, maybe they're seeing light or property. The property has appreciated, so they feel our money is no longer the worth of their of their of their real estate. So basically, that's the problem we have. The investigation continues tomorrow. 
Emmanuel Ono, News 24.